Hi, can I just have a medium Diet Coke? That's everything. May I have an extra straw too, please? Mm. Fountain pop. What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit back in full effect. Still rolling in Nana's 96 contour. Deal with it. We got the AM, FM, and then we rock the, uh, the tape deck. Back in the late teens, or early 20s, when I was a kid, we had things called tapes. So we also had Walkman, which is like an iPod, except way more convenient. It was like they had play, stop, and fast forward, never rewind. So you'd be listening to a tape and be like, oh yeah, this song's wicked, love this song. Next song, I'm like, ugh, I don't like this song. I'm gonna skip this one. Stop, play. Nope, same song, fast forward. Stop, play, up oh, too far. Eject, flip over, fast forward. Eject, flip over, play, too far. Okay, flip, flip, fuck, this sucks. So that was tapes, essentially. And Nana's car had the tape deck. I figured I'd go through my old tapes. I actually have quite a few left. But the one tape I found was the first tape I ever bought in my entire life. My first musical experience. I got it when I was in kindergarten. And me and my mom, we go to Kmart and have like this big bin that's full of tapes and you, you, know, you go through the tapes. And so I looked through them and I found this tape and I said to my mom, Hey mom, I think I might like to buy this tape. And so I bought this tape. This is what Michael Jackson used to look like before he was dead. I've listened to it so much, there's no more writing left on it. Still sounds great, still listen to it. Looking through some other tapes, found Sloan Smeared, Good Times Here, Hunters and Anglers tapes. And I made this tape when I was in high school called Don't Funk With My Soul, and it's only funk and soul songs. I listened to it when I went to get my tux for prom. So I was looking at all these tapes, and it made me think about music and how you experience music now is totally different. I used to be totally consumed with music and trying to find new music, and now I'm just like, meh. Like, I still like music a lot, but it's definitely lost its pizzazz for me, and it bums me out. Even when I was a teenager in the 30s, we had to go out and find records. So you'd have to go to the record store, try to find it, or you'd have to keep searching, looking for limited edition vinyl. Even CDs on indie labels was a good time and a lot more fun. The day when an album dropped, that was a huge day. You'd go to the record store, there'd be a lineup of people, and you'd hope that it's not sold out. Now the city I live in doesn't even have a record store. I worked at one for a couple of months before they shut it down. I didn't think stealing would really shut it down that quickly. I'm just kidding, I didn't steal. Just hearts. From dead bodies. So my question to you is, if you're a senior citizen like me, are you still as into music as you used to be? And do you think it's just because you grew up and didn't have time for it? Or do you think it's just because the whole culture of music has changed? And if you're younger, how do you view music? Do you view music as like, I want it, I'm getting it right this second? Or do you kind of wonder what it would have been like to have lived in the times where you had to search for music? You had to save up and buy an album. So thanks for sticking around for my ramblings. Subscribe up below. <laughs> subscribe up below? So subscribe up above, like down below, and remember, check your mirrors.